I have no idea what words to start with. I wanted to put a video up because the weekly bit just got started and I didn't want you to think that I was flaking after just the first week. But this is really, for the first time ever, I feel really uncomfortable talking to the camera. And it's not really because of the actual topic that I'm going to be talking about, but it feels very weird to talk about this and not have a response coming from the other side. Like, just to be putting it out there in silence feels weird. Um... My mom is in the ICU, and we had a really, really scary week. It's still going on. I don't know what's going to happen. So the typical little bits and clips that I wanted to mash together for a week, um, there just wasn't really anything appropriate worth sharing this week. I haven't decided what I want to tell all of you. Um, I don't, um, I don't know. This was kind of surprising for me because these past, even though she's been sick for a long time, these past few months as her breathing has gotten really difficult, we've made sure to get her into her regular doctors and have CAT scans, x-rays, and normal breathing checkups done on her, and they've all said that her lungs seemed fine. And right now she's intubated in the ICU, so she's on a breathing machine. She's not doing it herself, and she's on feeding tubes, and she's completely sedated, so she can't really interact with me other than when they suction her and, and then she's and then it seems like she's being tortured I don't really want a lot of um, comments on this vlog I don't I don't want questions or I don't please don't tell me the stories that you have or horror stories I might turn the comments off I'm not sure all we, all we would like is prayers, and just, that's it. Earlier in the week, after I had called 911 and got my mom to the hospital, she was doing better. And she thanked me for saving her life. She said that her worst fear in life has always been suffocation or drowning, that she's had reoccurring nightmares about it since she was little, and that not being able to breathe like that felt like drowning in slow motion, being surrounded by people and being surrounded by breathable air and not being able to get either of them to help you. And she said she hoped to never experience that again. And then within 10 minutes, she was writhing in her hospital bed, gasping for air. And her eyes were so wide, it looked like she was trying to climb out of her body through her eyes. I had been at the hospital filling out some, um, routine paperwork of, you know, if this happens with the patient, do we have permission to A, B, and C, and D, and they're all horrific things, horrific things to even just have to read, hoping that you'll never ever have to be asked them, and within 10 minutes of filling out that paperwork, I had doctors asking me a lot of those questions, and I had to make the decisions for them, so I've had a... When she was in the hospital earlier this week and she was doing okay, 
I called home and Scarlett asked if she could talk to her Nana and I could hear her little sweet cartoon voice saying, Nana, are you being brave? If the doctors have to give you a shot, it'll make you feel better. You have to be brave. And my mom had had emergency surgery to have a chest tube put in. So she said, yes, I did have to get a shot. And you're right, it does. I do feel so much better. I thought that was the worst of it and that she was recovering. But everything took a really bad turn. So um, now... It's just a wait and see. There are a lot of heartbreaking things in this that I expected just with this kind of a situation with a loved one, but there's so many that I don't know how to handle and I didn't expect. I didn't expect how much it would hurt to hear Luca say Nana and wave in the direction of her house. I didn't expect how alone that I would feel because I'm an only child and I'm surrounded by people, really, really wonderful, helpful people who will do anything for me and my family, but I, I've lost. My mom and I are the last of my side of the family. I've talked about it in vlogs a long time ago, but I, we're all that's left. And I grew up being... Um, I grew up surrounded by people that I kind of thought would always be there, and I was the baby of the family. I was the well-cared-for, well-delighted-in baby, and I still feel very, very much like that baby. But they're gone. I'm going to stop now. Um, Sitting in the ICU, since my mom can't interact with me, and I just spent a lot of time quiet there, I might try to edit together some footage that I have, just sort of sitting on my computer waiting for me to do something with it. I'm not sure if I'll feel like doing that, but it might just keep me busy. So if some videos go up and they're from a very different, like, <laughs> time than this, than what's going on right now, uh, that's why. If, it, if they seem pretty out of context or emotional context, that's why. So, I know that you guys don't require a video from me, but I am going to try and have something up next week too. I don't know. Hopefully it'll be better news. Bye-bye.